Welcome to the worst food review channel on YouTube. Welcome to Dave Eats. Let's go straight to Dave and the Spy Cam. On location at Archie's Fish and Chips. All right, so Spy Cam, Archie's. We're gonna go in and pick it up. I could have went through the drive-thru and got it. I did order ahead on my way here. They said it'd be ready in 10 to 12 minutes, but hey, we should have a look inside. So let's go do it. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, it's a pickup for Dave. Yeah, let's go to the other side. Yeah, no house, problem. Okay? No more buffet anymore, eh? No. I'm just talking to you guys now, okay? Pretty good timing, eh? There you go, perfect timing. Repaying card? Yeah. Okay, no problem. It's all set there for you. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Can I get a receipt for that, please? Yeah, sure. It's on the bank here for you. Oh, okay. Awesome. Is this receipt as well? Um, no, this one's fine. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Here we go. the restaurant. Very quick trip to the restaurant, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, let's go try this out. Welcome back. Dave Eats. Well, today we're with Gary. And hey, Gary, Gary's an interesting fella. I tried it. I, I did see Gary in the news, um, and I thought, man, I got to go and visit this guy. Now, this is a Conestoga hut yeah. that you live in. Correct. Um, now, I haven't read a lot about them, but they seem to be pretty unique, but they, they're really, they go up quick, I understand, once they're built. Absolutely, yeah. And they have, you know, you can make them about 14 or 16 feet long with about 7 feet wide, right? Yep, that's about what this is here. This is a 14 and change in length and uh, uh, just uh, just under 7 wide. Oh, baby girl. And it comes apart like a, like, a, like a Lego house, you know, it just pulls apart, pops right. open and... So it comes down pretty quickly and goes up pretty quickly. Yep. And it's completely insulated, floor, walls, yep. the whole works. In. So this is somewhere you can stay like all year round. Yeah, I've been in here, this is now month 14. Right. And uh, the only trouble is is that uh, having, with it being a self-sufficient solar powered place, I have to struggle with the, the heating for the electricity. Right. But beyond that, it's been smooth sailing. Now could you put like a, a tent wood stove in there or something do you think would that work? Um, I've looked at some options I think I could. Right. I don't know that everybody could do that you'd have to really know what, how to be cautious and be safe with something like that. Right. But it's not un, it's not impossible. Now we're gonna go ahead with the review but before we do that I do have a lot of questions first. I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> um, so now it goes up and down pretty quickly. Now how long does it take to build one? Um, if you have your materials and your building equipment, like your tools and stuff like that, you can actually still build it in about a day. I mean, me and my friends built each panel in like maybe four or five hours per panel. Right. And then, you know, once the panels are built, it 
it's just a matter of putting them together. It's a matter of assembling it. And... Now the hardest part about one of these is probably finding a place to... That is 100% the hardest part. Right. Now, I know I would like, you know, everybody dreams of living in something like this. Um, but nobody really seems to pull the trigger. You pulled the trigger on this. What, what motivated you to move um, into this? I come from a, a, a poor area of town. Um, right. A lot of my friends came from the same area. People that are living on the streets, they're suffering, they're struggling, and a lot of them, they're not drug addicts. They're, you know, same day people, we still go to work every morning, you know what I mean? Right. But they can't afford $1,200 or $1,800 or $2,700 for an apartment. And it's just, it's driving them nuts. And I've lost enough friends that I said, I know of a way we can make a difference. And there's a solution. Let's just make it happen. Right. So what would be the cost to build one of these? Do you have so any idea? Without the bells and whistles. Right. So without a toilet, without solar power, 3,500, we can get it done using materials completely from COPS build up. Right. With the bells and whistles, it's just shy of five. Now, to keep that, that shape, it's like a, like a wire mesh, right? Yeah, hardware mesh. The, uh, the original design uses a cattle fence mesh. Right. I didn't like how big the openings like are the on the cattle fence. Right, you put oh. a on there in the winter, yeah. right? Yeah, or you know, you could even have people Somebody cut through. Yeah, cutting through or whatever, and it's like I don't want you to be able to get into my house in two seconds. Right. So this so. this this the way you built it is going to be more secure than, than the way they recommend to build it. But yeah, man, it seems like a, a it, it seems fantastic, really, right? Yeah. Um, well, you got the little you know you got a canopy at the front to cover you. You can lock it up. Yeah. What a great idea. Thank Thank you. you you live here with two pets. Yes. Um, this is a uh, baby girl right here. Yep. And the cat isn't here, but where is she? Eh. What's her name? Archangel? Archangel. He likes to wander and do his well, own thing. He? But he, he'll pop up, I'm sure. Excellent. Now, fish and chips. Do you like fish and chips? I love fish and chips. Well, should we have, what do you want to have a look at first, Lucinda, here? The uh, fries? Okay, now I got the, uh, now your friend Ryan's here, so I went ahead and just got a four, dinner for four of this. Oh. So, now that's a ton of fries, isn't it? Baby girl, I hope you like fries. There's not much she doesn't. <laughs> you want to have a look at the, Now, this is the jumbo haddock. So, these are supposed to be giant pieces of haddock. I don't know. I've never seen them. I haven't been there in a lot of years. They don't look like a bad size piece, do they? To be fair. All right. We'll take one of these. All and, right. We'll uh, do this because I had my hand all over the dog. No problem. And I'll take one out, too. And we'll leave the rest for the crew later. Oh, there I got go. There's my fork. Um, okay, we'll cover this back up. And here, grab some fries too. All right. Now they're definitely a fresh cut fry. If they weren't a fresh cut fry from Fish and Chip Shop, I probably wouldn't go back there. Just me. Yeah, that's kind of a, kind of a requirement. It is a requirement. It's isn't called it? Fish and Chips. Right. You got to know how to do your good chips. Absolutely. We'll do that for now. That's good for now? Well, there's going to be lots more anyways. We're just going to try it here anyway. I'm going to put my finger in there just quick, sorry. No, no problem. Okay, I'll close that up as well. Um, now, oh, we got a spoon there. Yeah. Coleslaw. Got to have some coleslaw. Ooh, oh, yeah. Got to have our veggies, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so you guys are working on some gardens over here today. Yeah. That's, that's great. The idea is more than just the roof. Right. You can build a roof, you can build a house, you can build a box that you stick people in and say, here you go, we saved your life. Right. But I, I want to give people something they can be proud of, something that you want, you're want. you going to want to keep it nice and pretty. It's more than just a roof. It's food for your family. It's something you can Have you built more than on. one of these then? Or? Not yet, but This is I, the first one, the prototype basically. Yeah. This was an experiment to see how well it would work because they were designed for Ohio. Right. And Ohio is a little bit different than Canada. So slightly different. Yeah. They still get snow, but yeah. They, they know cold well enough, but not quite like us. Right. So I, you know, made some changes, and we wanted to make sure it would work because one of the city council's first things they didn't think this was a good, reasonable idea. Right. And I said, well, let me try it and prove whether or not you're right. And frankly, I think it worked out quite well. I was pretty happy this winter. So you're using just an electric heater in there to heat that? Yeah. Yep. I got an electric space heater. Um. Tartar sauce. This has got to be the biggest thing of tartar sauce. Wow, I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> they um, went all so out, got there. It out there. Anyways. I'm a salt and malt guy too. I have to have salt and malt on mine. Malt is I, great. I didn't get any salt. Can you throw me some salt over there, Lucinda? We're going to do this. Absolutely. I love me some tartar sauce. I was raised by a British gentleman. Oh, were you? Yes. 
So fish and chips were a big thing growing up. They were something, so you're gonna be a good guy to help me kind of decide if these are any good or not then, I guess, right? Yeah, we'll find out. All right. No, I did get light batter on them. Sorry, I thought the less carbs would be good for me. That's all right. Oh, oh there we go. We had good chops. Salt these fries up a bit. You know, yeah, I gotta have a little bit of salt. I'll go ahead and try this out. So now, how long have you been doing food videos? Since, uh, I guess 2019, the end of 2019, was it Lucinda, I guess we started? Right close to 2020. That's amazing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're happy. We don't, you know, we're not a huge channel. We don't uh, we don't have a lot of followers yet. Hey, but it's about having fun. That's what we're here for. We're just, it's, uh, we, you know, we love our subscribers, don't get me wrong. Um, but. We all love our friends. Absolutely. I'm gonna put a little malt on there, because I gotta have malt. All right, so, should we try a fry first? Let's with the do head, it. Right? Cheers. Not bad. Not bad. No, nothing special. No. Nothing to write home about. Yeah. It could be a little crispier. But the fresh cut. Beat a frozen fry every day. Yep. Um, I'm gonna wipe some of this tartar sauce off my fork here. Just thinking the same thing. Um, and maybe try out some of this coleslaw before we get into the fish. No, Archie's is a staple in lemon. It's uh, kind of the one that all other fish and chip shops are weighed against, you know? Is it as good as Archie's? Is it not as good as Archie's? Or is it better than Archie's? Now, I've been to places that are better than Archie's, but I don't think there's anything wrong with this so far, but well, it all comes down to the fish, right? We're gonna try out some coleslaw. Yeah, try some, sorry, I did try that. I thought the coleslaw was a little plain. Could have used a little more something in there yeah something maybe just a little bit more kick to it maybe yeah something a little more seasoning of some sort right but I'm gonna go ahead and try the fish let's try the fish. let's do the fish All right. did I mention they have more than one kind of fish here they have haddock they have cod they have halibut um, it's kind of like the lower price fish but I think it's good and flaky. Yeah. It's a nice white fish. It's not over fishy. Comes apart nicely. Mm hmm. You see that from there, Lucinda? Yeah, that is quite good, actually. It's been a while since I've had our season. They, st they still keep up their rep, I think. They do. They do. Um, Lucinda's got the price going in front of there, and that's on a four. And that's not bad. Fish isn't cheap, right? But um, I would say there's no need to avoid Archie's. I think it's a pretty good fish and chip plate. Would you like to try one? Oh, oh, you waited nice and patiently, didn't you? Um, but I guess that's about it. Uh, we'd say it's okay. There may be better, but there's definitely worse. Uh, tell us what you think of Archie's. If you've been there, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, share. Look for us next time. I'm Big Dave, and this is I'm Gary the Gaz. Thanks for watching.